Hello folks, welcome to the Wolf Den. Like I always say, one more time. And we're doing an unboxing this morning, but it's an unboxing with a comparison. When we're going to take a look at my favorite type of reel, the workhorse, the Shimano, for my uh, fishing charters and what my customers use, this ought to be interesting. So here we go. We got a box. It's from Kahajawa Ken, Japan. Boy, I'd like to go there. I'd like to go to Japan. Let's open this up. And I'll give you a little history. If you haven't been following my channel, these are JDM Shimano's. I bought some before from the same seller. And they were called Shimano Ajimatic 3000 EXs that I will show you here shortly. And it's all based on the fact that these reels are Japanese domestic market types. But what are they? They're very, very similar to my workhorse reels, the Shimano Triton 100Gs that I have many, many, many videos of describing how much I like them and everybody else seems to like them but the whole deal is is that the fact that they're getting awful expensive and I don't know if that's from popularity but I can buy these that are much nicer all the way from Japan for the same price and or cheaper alright let's get rid of the box Oh, let's see. You gave me a little, let's have fun. That's a little uh, real cover, I suppose. So let's take a look at the first, whoop. Let's take the first one that didn't have a box. Okay. And let's use these boxes here as a backdrop. Titanos GT 3000 but they had the same little symbol and that same little symbol is the Ajimatic type symbol which I don't know what exactly all that means uh, but we'll see I sort of know it from the last video where the drag seemed to be almost spring-loaded. Okay, and when the drag pulled out, it went... You could pulse it back and forth. Okay, so here is a little reel bag, I'm sure, or something. Hmm, just a little ditty bag. Let's have fun. Yeah, I'm in all about having fun. All right. Okay, got ourselves a nice little baggie there. Set that off to the side. Now, with that being the drought, drop back. There we go. Let's open this one, which didn't come with a box. So what it's saying to me is some of these are possible display models. These are all new. And then they, part, they mark like one of them as used. But they never seem to be used. These things are brand spanking new. Now the last ones you remember, if you were a subscriber to my channel, which boy I'll tell you, if you're a tackle junkie of any sort, you just may want to subscribe. So here we go. The Titanos GT 3000. Alright, so what is it? It's basically 
a Shimano Triton. And I will show you the comparisons here in just a second. Exclusive Ajimatic system. And what that seems to be, folks, is if I tighten up the drag here a little bit, the, the spool has like a spring loaded almost. You can take it and it moves. Let me tighten up the tension here a little bit. Look at that. Watch the, watch the little line holder here, the line tire. See that inside? It snaps back. So, that's really kind of weird. But I'll tell you, I've been using the reels, and it works. And another thing that I really love about these is the fact that they auto-engage. Okay, so let's take the second part of this and go over the two other types that I have. Okay, look at this. Whoa, this is weird. Look at the real foot. Huh, it's not in the center. It's off to the side. Wow, how's that gonna fit on the rod? Let's see. Here it is mounted on a Shakespeare ugly stick jigging rod that I'm going to be using. And look how it's mounted. This is kind of strange. Um, it's just different. What it's doing, it's bringing the handle a lot closer to the rod itself. I don't see it being really a big difference here other than it's a little weird. Uh, gives you, I guess, more palming ability over here. Um, see, let's take a look here. Let me turn the screen on so I can see what you're seeing. Look at that. The reel kind of sticks out. That would be a real big deal breaker for some people, but hey, it's unique. It's different. So what we're going to do is there's the first comparison. That might be why it's a Titanos version. Okay. Alright, let's move the rod out of the way here. And on the box, it seems to describe something here. Let's look at the box. It has this line where the real seat I don't know if it's very faint. You can see a red line there. Let me turn the screen on again. It has a red line right here coming down. And that is the point. It's got like a cross right here. This is all about, I can tell about the spool being that it's almost like spring loaded. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you that because I have other reels with it. Um, holds a lot of line, I can tell here. 4.1 to 1 gear ratio. Okay, so let's move on to some of the other comparisons here. Put that up there. Okay, this is the one from my last video right here. This straight reel seat, reel, reel foot. All right, but the unique thing about this was is the fact that if you watch the drag, see that? It pops back and forth and then pulls. It pops, it goes back and forth and then it pulls. So, and then these had this adjustment on the side right here. 
See that adjustment? There's an adjustment right there. And it goes from 1 to 10. And it clicks. And I haven't taken this side plate off. Because see how the side plate bumps out. And I believe, even though I cannot tell the difference, is if you move that dial up, if this goes back and forth easier or anything like that. But we just caught big reds on these reels just two days ago. And let me tell you, it worked out absolutely perfect. There was nothing nothing wrong um, one thing that I mentioned when I first got these is that they have this they have this little knob right here and you can turn that on and off on let's see here there you go and it'll back spool it lets the handle back spool, which can be a dangerous thing in somebody's hands that don't know anything, so I never mention that. But these were really nice because they had the wood handle and everything, and they also auto-engage. So now these ones that I just unboxed, the only difference is, is when you look at them, this is referred to as the Ajimatic Shimano 3000 EX. Audiomatic. Oh, oh, that's what it is. I just seen it. This is what I thought. It says Audiomatic Shimano Audiomatic 3000 EX. Audiomatic and magnetic control system. So that's what this is. That is what that is. That's a mag control. Oh man, that's right. So I do need to turn this all the way up for customers that don't know how to bait cast. Oh, that's what I thought it was. But it really didn't say anything, but it says it in that really small fine print right there. So, okay. How good can that be, folks? How good can that be? You've got not only auto engage on my last purchase right you've got the button where you can back spool it if forever whatever reason you got the kind of like super light tackle springy gate uh, drag system and how that ends up working is instead of having to drag real tight and the fish just surges it really pulls off easy and then goes out and then it has the mag so these here are literally the cat's ass now these are a little weird because the real seats off to one side it also has the on and off button where you can back spool all right instant anti-reverse switch is what they're calling this Okay. Oh, that, that moves back kind of delicately. I can see how that might get hit. I might have to super glue that. That's what I do when I don't want customers to use anything. I super glue things from working. Okay, but no mag over here. But it's got the exclusive Ajimatic system, which means that the drag is kind of springy. So, look at all these reels. Okay, here comes the comparison part of our video. Okay, let me turn the screen on. My screen keeps turning off because I don't have it set up right. Okay, on the Hero 5 here. Here is the United States version. You've seen me talk about this many times if you've been on my channel and we've been talking Tackle Junkie. Now, this is 3,000 versions.
This is called a 100. So let's just take it numerically. These would maybe be a little bigger. Okay? That's the reason I'm putting these on heavier more whoop-ass rods. I mean, the, the Tiger jigging rod, that's the reason why these go on the jigging rods. These are the American versions in which I take the little handle that it comes with, which is like a little dinky double paddle, or no, single paddle, okay, with a little tiny handle, and I put on a Calcutta handle. But here's the difference, big time. No automatic anything. Not as nice. I like the automatic. You have to manually flip it, and then the reel goes into gear. Nothing goofy on the on the reel seat, of course. These are all made, I believe. Yeah, these are all Japan products. Uh, let's see here. Yes, these are all 100% Japan products. And these are Malaysian products, okay? So it's a little smaller, little smaller, a little more compact than you can see on these, okay? The United States version of the 100G, and absolutely zero frills. This is what started my obsession. Anti-corrosion, graphite, strong. Workhorse, star drag that just works, level wine, keeps everybody happy, no thumbing anything. When I go and I put the Shimano Calcutta power handles on here, these are a reel that's in the charter fishing business, it does have a clicker, to be reckoned with. Okay, these have caught enormous fish basically sticking with the light tackle program. No bearings whatsoever, except in the handle, it's got a bearing. Um, I believe on both sides, yes, both sides, it's just a bronze bushing. There's nothing to really ever go wrong with these reels. These are the ones you'll buy in the United States. Now we're getting up to a three bearing system on these. This is my first purchase. These are the ones with the mag. Probably bearing in a handle, bearing on this side of the spool, bearing on this side of the spool. The Ogematic 3000s. Now you get over to the ones that I just unboxed, the Titanos GT3000. And I believe, now these have two ball bearings. And many times what it is, is ball bearing in the handle, ball bearing on the, re on the real handle side of the spool, but then again, a bronze bushing over here. I can tell these are brand new. They're not all greased up. They got a little grease on them from the factory, but then I mega grease them when I go to put them into play. I put a lot of waterproof grease on the worm there just because they take such abuse out on my boat. So there's the comparisons, really, of Dave's obsession with the Shimano product line of graphite level wine star drag reels. Look at the differences. I mean, this one is the cat's meow right here. This is it. You got mag, even though I've never really noticed it because I'm usually the one pitching them out. But now that I know it's mag, I can tune it up. Tell my customers, okay, pitch this thing out all day. I don't care. Beautiful, nice wooden handle with a little ball bearing to grease it. Okay, convertible handle. You can move it out. All right. Automatic. When you turn it in, turn the handle. It goes into gear. You've got your back spooling button. Then we move over here to Titanos. No mag. Weird reel seat. Off to the side reel seat. All right. Level wind. And I'm noticing this one doesn't have chrome. This one has, or stainless or whatever here. All right. Star drag, convertible handle, back spooling button, 
auto auto engage then the American version and here's the one thing that I love about these and older these see that cap it's plastic cap on the paw metal metal many times when using this reel my customers will because they're trying to sling it all the time and they don't need to be doing that they get loops in the braid and the braid loops get stuck right here let me turn on my screen so I can show you and, and see it myself right there it's kind of got like a little notched system where this screws on and covers the little it's the paw holder the paw is a little fork that goes up and rides on the worm gear for the level wind what the braid does is it gets loops around there and then somebody starts yanking and cranking on that trying to get because they don't know how to get the um a backlash out like like i do and it the braid will literally sever and cut this plastic just enough that this gets loose the paw falls out so what do I have? I have got a whole bunch of spare caps and paws that I keep and I've bought from Shimano. But back in the day, and I've got a few, just a few, when these first started to come to the United States, when they were brand new and it was sort of a new product, this was all metal, this was metal, just like these. But that's how they cheapened them up. They still work. I have no gripes whatsoever, but back in the day, this was all metal. So that's what they do to us in the United States. And then this is if you're Japanese, this is what you get. So there you go. I hope you f can follow along. I will put links at the end card of this video of me unboxing this. Plus I'll probably put the links in the video description. And then maybe I'll do my first, I'll throw in on an end card on this video, maybe my first sort of tutorial talking about my love and obsession for the best charter fishing reel in Northeast Florida for what I do, which is the TR100G. You can still buy these in the United States, no problem. They're all over eBay. Any more of these... I used to buy these 30, 40 bucks a piece, either kind of new, in the box, used. The cheapest one I ever got was $35, brand new. But now, the cheapest you'll find these, not on eBay, but on some other websites, is about $55 to $60. And on eBay, even brand new, these are going about 80 bucks with free shipping. So, these are kind of all over the map. I use braid on everything, so they're they're braid, you know, capable. And what you do is you get rid of that stupid little handle. You go to Shimano and you buy the handle from the like Calcutta 400. And you can soon figure out that it just boop pops right on here like no no problem. And then you got a big power handle. Actually, look at this. This handle here now is nicer than this handle. But I have a thing about vintage and wood, and I love this handle. Rosewood. Love it. But, of course, what's the best handle overall? Probably this. But I can see right off the get-go, this metal is thinner than this metal, and it's thinner than this metal. Okay. I don't think it's ball-bearing. I don't think that's ball bearing, but I think this one's not ball bearing either, but they have a grease spot for it. So here is the three. TR100G, Titanos GT3000, and the Ajimatic uh, 3000 EX with mag system there you go dave's obsession hopefully it's over now i have three flavors of my favorite reels 
So all I can say is thanks for watching and putting up with it. But what I'm trying to do is educate people on what works. But these two, they go on tiger jigging rods just like this. Let me show you. That is the Ugly Stick Tiger Light jigging model. And I use the six foot three heavy. I know you're not going to be able to see this. The BWC JL2200 6.3 braided line 50 to 100. Jig weight 4 to 7 or 112 to 200 gram. Then the rods that I use on these reels exclusively the TR100G exclusively I use the white ugly stick catfish rod and that is a seven foot medium heavy half to three ounce although this rod can I've fished eight and ten ounces on it and that is the USCA CAT cat 701 meaning one piece seven foot medium heavy and that is all casting do don't eat up oh, my my hook holder broke and then I use hook holders which is a zip strip zip strip with a hole in it because the hook holder here many times is too small for really big hooks don't talk to me about spinning gear I don't talk spinning the one wonderful thing about this these are the brand new ugly stick catfish rods they got a gimbal on the end I love the rubberized gimbal and they're even embossed into the foam ugly stick so that's what I use and they got the ugly tough guides on here which is all one piece stainless steel titanium something or other these eyes are absolutely the best for charter fishing and for just all fishing or all around they work so folks there you go hopefully this is the finishing up of the lineup of the shimano triton like graphite reels i like how this one has the the gold protective on the end that's very nice this one doesn't have it so you can see they add some things they take some things away they add some things take some things away and then by the time they get to the american version they've taken it all away folks it's all gone that is b -b 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 basic but all my rods are used on nothing but ugly sticks so take care i'll see you in the next video and all i can say is thanks for watching please comment share the videos because it helps me the more you support my channel the more i can help you with tackle junkiness thanks for watching